Kababayan, today we celebrate the work of an artist, a Filipino artist na talaga na eh, pag uh, minention ko yung work niya eh talagang malalaman yung Pinoy na Pinoy itong artist na to. We celebrate him. He is an artist, an animator, an illustrator, and a painter. Si Nestor Redondo joining us to talk about the achievements of his father. Kasama natin si Ramil Redondo here in Los Angeles. Pag-usapan natin ang trabaho na ginawa ng tatay mo na si Nestor. Kasi pag sinabi mong comics sa Pilipinas, ano ba yung pinakasikat na comics? Yeah, just a few. is uh, Siya yung nag-drawing uh, ng uh, Darna. And also, uh, he did. Uh, he has a co-creator co na palos, na character na palos. Okay. Those are just a few. You know? Just a few. Yeah. But let's face it. When it comes to comics, si Darna ang pinakasikat. <laughs> diba? Na yeah. hanggang ngayon, eh, ginagawa pa nilang remake sa Pilipinas. Patuloy na patuloy ang mga pelikula ni Darna. At yung tatay mo ang nag-conceptualize, nag-illustrate, nag-drawing kay Darna. Yeah. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. So, pag-usapan natin, taga saan ang, uh, ang, ang tatay mo sa Pilipinas? Yeah, taga ano siya, Candon, uh, Ilocos Sur. But we grew up in Valenzuela, you know. In Bulacan. In Bulacan yeah. Okay, so simula pa lang, um, nung bata ka, yung tatay mo ay talagang nagdraw-drawing na? Yeah, he, he, we have a part in the house that he always sit there. I, I wake up and he's working there on his desk. And before I go to bed, nandun pa rin siya, like working out, okay, working on his drawing. drawing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. at ang hindi alam ng maraming tao ay hindi lang siya sa Pilipinas uh, gumawa ng mga animations, kundi dito rin sa Amerika. Right. Can you share that with us, Nestor? Yeah, there was a um, DC comic publisher that visited Manila at that time. So, namit nila yung father ko, and they were very impressed na quality ng work. And also, a lot of people are good in Manila, like a lot of talents. So, they decided to outsource the comic, uh, ano nila, uh, comic uh, drawing sa mga Filipino artists. And that gave way to, uh, you know, to my father's uh, career dito sa, sa U.S., although he's based in Manila. Okay. So, um... Simula, uh, unfortunately, Nestor is no longer with us. He passed away in 1995. Correct. No? Yeah. But we want to celebrate his work yeah. because he is an unsung hero, <laughs> di ba? Ang hindi alam ng mga tao, eh talagang ang Pilipino, pagdating sa mga arts, eh talagang world class, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Um, ta talk to us about migrating here to America. Kailan nangyari yon? Uh, he, he started to visit the uh, states like 1977 because uh, he was uh, invited to the San Diego Comic Convention, which at that time is a small uh, event. Parang sa ballroom lang ng hotel ginagawa, but right now it's a very explosive, na, the whole convention center. So that's how he started to uh, come over in the states, you know. Oh, oh yeah. so on Comic Con, which is what they call it, right? The San Diego Comic Con is world renowned. Lahat ng, ng mga animators ngayon, mga gamers, don pumupunta. Yeah. Pero sa simulang simula, yung tatay mo invited na doon, yeah, diba? Yeah, he even got an award, the same award as uh, St Steven Spielberg around that time, you know, they got the both awards. Okay, so yeah. what was that award it's that your called, father uh, received? It's called Ink Pot Awards, you know, for uh, recognition sa. Uh, uh, industry, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then when he passed away in 1995, mm -hmm. he obviously left this legacy of work, and we want to celebrate him. Uh, but he's no longer around, no. Mm. So how do you feel that? Kailangan talaga malaman ng mga Pilipino yung yung trabaho ng ginawa ng tatay mo. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's like uh, we have a pearl, pero yung pearl mo tinago mo lang sa drawer, mm -mm. and we need to bring it out and. Uh, sh show and let the people know kung sino ang talaga yung father ko, you know, Nestor Redondo. Okay, so yeah. si Nestor Redondo, siya po ay isang animator, isang artist, isang painter. Did he encourage you to also pursue <laughs> the arts? Uh, not really, pero lahat kami, we could, we could draw like nicely. We, we pick up the talent a little bit, pero not, not really a uh, full, full blown uh, animator, painter. None okay, like but your father was a full-time artist, Correct, diba? yeah, Yun yeah. lang ang ginagawa exactly. niya. <laughs> wow, to be able yeah. to see your father and his legacy. We celebrate him uh -huh. on Kababayan today. Thank you. Um, where can people see his work? Oh, you, if you Google his name, you could see his work from like film, animation, and then you could also see like original works that are sold in eBay at, you know, like 
you could find anything about him on, online. But one thing is a, a, a person named Manuel Awad, he told me he's gonna write a book for, for my dad and that one's coming up. Hey, joining us is Ramil Redondo. He is the son of the late artist, Nesto Redondo. Nesto Redondo is an animator, a painter, and uh, an artist that we celebrate here on Kababayan today because of his uh, amazing contributions to the field of comics. I want to say thank you, Ramil, for allowing us to showcase your father's work because when I was growing up, Lahat ng tao talagang nagbabasa ng comics. Ang hindi natin alam is kinandito na tayo sa Amerika at nagbabasa tayo ng comics. Yung nag-drawing nun, e eh, Pilipino. ba? Out of all the characters that your father drew, what was your favorite? My favorite is the Swamp Thing for uh, DC Comics. Yeah, he did the whole um, series ng Swamp Thing. Oh, oh, yeah. siya ang gumawa yeah. mula sa Pilipinas. Mm, yeah. Okay, well, Ramil has been kind enough to allow us to show all of you kababayans the amazing work of his father, si Nestor Redondo. Panuuri natin to. celebrate the work of your late father at sana ma-encourage ang mga kababayan natin to pursue the arts kasi talagang if you have the talent you should go for it diba yep, okay so ang message mo para sa mga kababayan yeah it's um this is uh, very encouraging na uh, we we know that behind these comics in the US there's a Filipino guy in in Manila that is doing it for for them and also he opened up his own Redondo studio so that other Filipino could also contribute um, for the U US market yes yeah. and that is uh, the mark of a true Pinoy na talagang they encourage other artists also to be part of their legacy so maraming salamat muli thank you very much thank you Ramil magbabalik kami okay.